Good evening and welcome back once again. So at the end of December, it's the last game before the January transfer windows open, we're away to Girona. We've got Ruben Castro starting up top today with Carlos Perez and Mudrik staying in the squad from the last match. Mariba and Cousins have come back in. Herrera's going to stick around. We've got Omar Ajik and Kosanu in central defence. Teixeira will continue at left back with Baka being on the downward red. McDowell as well, he came on as a sub. He's replacing Emerson from the start as he's on a downward red as well. And Schubert is going to be rested for one game with Post being in goal. And we're away again. That's two matches running. I'm assuming the next match is probably at home. Let's have a quick look. I love our third choice so you know, is this our second choice? Yeah, this is our second choice kit, our away kit. Love that uh, sort of red, pinky colour. Uh, the third kit's the black colour, which I don't use as much. I should try that a bit more often, I think. But yeah, looking forward to the January transfer window. And obviously after this match, we'll have a look at December's stats to see um, how the team has done as a whole in terms of points and um, goals conceded, etc. And then we'll have a look at the player stats too. See who's been our best performers. Nice play there. I didn't, should have easily blocked that out, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what I was doing there. Thought about even starting Danny Garcia because he's on an upward... Um, greenish blue but um, I'm not going to he might come off the bench oh, Cousins what are you doing you've got your head up your arse there and Danny Garcia if you remember he is actually going out on loan we agreed that back in I believe it was like October or November but because the transfer window was shut it doesn't go ahead until January so he'll be going out so maybe look to get one or two bodies in just to, if we can maybe get a good regen in, or a youngster doesn't have to be a regen. And if we could get a star as well, like one really good star, that would improve our first team or be a really, really good backup. Um, that's what we need to do. But we're not just going to go out and spend money for the sake of it because we can save that for another time if there's no one in our price range or suitable at the moment. Carlos Perez, will he get to it? Not quite. Well, the the last game, if you watched it, we had 17 shots um, at goal. Not a lot of them were on target, unfortunately, but we were peppering the opposition, and we only scored the one goal. And it, it was enough. You know, got us the win. Really nice ball. Carlos Perez truly gets fouled there, but he plays on. It's behind Cousins, though. And Cousins continues his run. Ah, uh, hits the heels of the defender. To be fair, he probably should have intercepted it normally. It was right at him. Come on. Ah, uh, still somehow they, uh, the opposition get through. Nice tackle from Herrera. Reba now. I was trying to pass that to uh, Mudrick. Trying to do a quick pass to Mudrick there. Over the top. Oh, we're not really keeping a hold of the ball at the moment. In fact, at all. Cannot get the ball off the opposition. Every time I attack my players, just I'm missing the ball. Nice acrobatic clearance there. And actually finds Mudrik. Chance for a counter here. Castro into Perez. Not really anyone in a good position though. Nice. Oh, how did McDowell not take that? Maybe it was slightly over hit. Nothing's really going for us so far, though. That'll be free kick. 
and it wasn't, but it would have been a throw into them anyway. It's pretty much the same from that position. And then the last game we didn't score until I think it was the 43rd, 44th minute. So we just got to remember that we can we can be patient. Um, just got to be careful. Don't let in a goal. That's the main thing. I think at the moment the way we're playing. Damn, the passes are not finding the mark today. I don't know why. It seems like everything I do is uh, going astray. What I don't understand is I'm not going to stop. That is not a free kick to the opposition. Oh, shut up. Honestly, I was just going to say I'm not going to start talking about it, but that is horrendous. I've just got fouled. Anyway, it shouldn't have been a foul, but it's fine. It doesn't lead to anything. Didn't want, oh, Magic's doing all the way up there. Castro. Oh, that's a poor ball from Perez. Passing has not been up to normal standard. And somehow they keep that in. That's uh, It's going to be one of those days, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Everything's going for the opposition. Not for me. Well, the referee played advantage, but I didn't really have an advantage. In fact, I could end up losing a goal from it. He should have given me a free kick. And he was going to, but he played advantage, like I say. Right. Get rid of the ball here. Castro. That's not a good ball. It's a relatively easy pass to Mudrik. And he was free. There it is, half time, nil nil. Not a great first half, gotta be said. And look at that. 50% possession. We had no shots. That's gotta be the first time that's happened to us. Yeah, Girona were by far the better team in the first half there. We're sort of lucky that um they didn't really put anything together in the last third. Nice play. Oh, and he just... Oh, nice strike. From Mariba. It's a fair shot and goal, but it's a... Uh... Oh, here's Cousins. He's hardly been in the game. Oh, nice little touch there. Ah... Uh... Shouldn't have shot. I should have played it back to either Castro or potentially waited for Carlos Perez to be free. That was probably the first genuine chance I've had. That Mariba shot was a good shot, but it wasn't really a chance on goal. Good save there from post. Our second choice keeper. Come on, take a quick leap. Right, nice ball out wide to McTell. We'll need to change things up a bit. Just not doing well at the moment at all. And here's Cousins. Nice little run. Oh, and that's a, t a terrible pass. I barely put any power on that pass and it's uh, just totally overshot hey, hey, hey. good tackle though and a nice ball out wide to Mudrik now Castro Mudrik oh what a save I thought that was going to be in Just overstretched there. Oh, and this could be a chance here. Good defending in the end. Blocked the path for the shot or the pass. And back up came. Just in the nick of time. Ah, oh, no. Again, the pass. 
just not quite right. It's not quite uh, going away today. But here's Mudrick. Oh, and it's white. Oh. After all that, a wonderful ball through. Let's have a quick look at this. It's cast a wonderful ball. The defender was sliding in, but you've got to be scoring that. And I think we're just going to stick with our team. There's only 20 minutes left, and by this stage, in terms of uh, experience and stuff, players might not get it. So I'm just going to keep these guys on for now. I think we're maybe just starting to find our rhythm a tiny bit. He says, giving the ball away. That's a foul. But here's Castro. Castro! Oh, what a finish! Lovely finish there. We haven't really been in the game much today. Fouled there, but played on Kusan's nice ball, but it's this turn. One touch and just fired in the left corner there. Back to goal. Couple of touches. Smashes a pass to keep it. Now you might argue that we don't deserve that, but like I said, we have been better in the past 10 minutes or so. I mean, it couldn't get much worse. And that's why I didn't make the subs. I thought, we need to keep these guys on. It's starting to get a bit of rhythm. You don't want to just start making subs for the sake of it. Oh, just over here again. Passing has been way off today. We haven't had the chances. At, like In the last game, it was the finishing. We played well, but the finishing wasn't there. This match, we just haven't even created the chances. Oh, Mariba bursting through, though. Mariba, he was pulled back there. You see that? I don't know if you saw that as well, but he got a shirt pulled just as he was about to be on, on goal. Damn. Here's Cousins. Definitely been under par, Cousins. I mean, everyone has, but uh, Cousins has got nothing left in the tank to get onto that. Good tackle from Kosinu. Very strong tackle. Now Cousins, like I say, he's got nothing left. Mariba hasn't got much left either. Oh, lovely ball, though. What a lovely team goal that is. An easy tap in for Castro, but it wasn't that. It was the, the team build-up before the goal. Lovely ball from Cousins to Mariba. Wait for Mudrik. Little dink over the top, and Mudrik selflessly to Castro. And that was on some very tight legs, so we had to be careful. We couldn't just sprint forward or anything. We had to choose our passes at the, the correct time. Oops. Just got absolutely smashed in the face there by the ball. I was going to say blasted in the face, but that uh, sounds kind of weird. I say it anyway, so... What a... Oh, that was a great ball, but Mariba lost it. Lovely turn from Castro and a ball. But they've just got no energy left, and that's where not making the subs comes into play. But I think it was worth it. Um, it was the right decision, and it has paid off. That's got to be a foul, is it? No, but it will be full-time, and it's 2-0. Castro with the double. And as you can see from the stats, not up to our normal standard. 52% possession, 6 shots, 5 on goal. So we're pretty much on target when we did get the chance, but none of those came until the second half. Passes, only 105, 87 being successful, so pretty low by our standards.
And of course, Castro was going to get him out of the match. He got the two goals, but he was definitely the best player. Mariba only getting a five. Not really surprised. In fact, I'm surprised that as many got sixes and 6.5s as they did because we were terrible in the first half. We certainly improved in that last half hour. And just looking at the stats for December, you can see that we've won seven matches out of seven and more notably quite a lot of high scoring games in there. Especially in the middle, we nearly had five nil wins back to back to back. Uh, we just didn't manage to get that fifth one in the game against Luganes. Then we had that match against Levante where, like I said, we had 17 shots at goal but only scored the one. And the match you just saw was a bit of a struggle, but we won in the end. Individual-wise, Xerxy features in both the goal rankings and the assist rankings, as does Carlos Perez, Ruben Castro in there with four goals, Fabio Vieira with three assists, and not surprisingly, because of the uh, the goals and assists that Xerxy got, he's got the highest average rating with a 7.6. Now, that is massive for an average rating over the month, really, really high. Arcas in there with a 7, he had some good performances, and Ruben Castro with a 7. Surprise Carlos Perez isn't it in there actually with his name being on the board on the goals and the assists. And of course we're officially into January now, so the transfer window has opened. There'll be some new youth players in our squad, there'll be some regens around other teams as well. We'll have to have a look at some renewal contracts for our players. But we're going to save that for the next episode where we are away to Atletico Madrid. Top of the table clash. We're seven points up ahead of them at the moment, but they could claw that back. So that's a massive match there. They're probably the biggest match of the season so far. So join me for that one. I'll give you any update on any transfers that may happen in the next video. And I'll see you all then. Cheers.